All right, good morning, everybody. 813 meteorologist Lauren Richardson here. Yes, we are in a first alert. We're expecting once again more wet weather on the way for today, but this looks a little more significant than what we saw yesterday. So we're expecting the potential for a soaking rain this afternoon and evening in some areas might just see some overcast skies. Here's a look though at our first alert satellite radar. You see all this moisture to the south of us that's going to continue to move up our way. So our first alert live radar is showing us just some kind of misty conditions this morning. It's been drizzly out there. We haven't really seen anything substantial, uh, but yeah, definitely kind of a gloomy, dreary start on this Sunday. We've got post-tropical Ophelia uh, to the south of us. The remnants are uh, expected to continue to make their way up north and impact us within today and tomorrow. So it's going to be a misty, drizzly start once again. Some heavy rain possible this afternoon and also into this evening, into tomorrow morning too. The latest guidance showing some of that heavier rainfall continuing. But then after this is all said and done, that sunshine will return. It looks like most likely on Tuesday we'll see some partial sunshine and then by Wednesday we'll see a lot more. Our first alert headlines for today. Uh, it's possible to see one to two inches locally uh, between today and tomorrow and yesterday too, where a lot of areas didn't get too much rain yesterday. Uh, but our future cast will show us through the day today. This is an estimate of what we could receive, but you could see in into this afternoon, it's possible to see some of this heavier rainfall and with this potential for embedded thunderstorms where you see those yellows, those oranges, those reds coming down. Uh, that's when it's downpouring at that time. So this continues into the evening hours and through the overnight hours. So if you've got any plans today, pack the umbrella, pack the rain jacket, the rain gear. Looks like you're going to need it even into tomorrow morning. Uh, give yourself some extra time. Of course, we'll be on the air tomorrow morning too, providing the latest details. But uh, uh, yeah, you could definitely expect some of that rain. And then into the afternoon, too, this guidance shows this stretching out until the afternoon and maybe wrapping up by early evening. This could happen a little bit sooner, though. It's possible to maybe see a couple peaks of sunshine before the sun sets. And then for tomorrow, for Tuesday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds temperatures still in the 60s. So still below average for this time of year. By the way, our normal high temperature for September 24th is 73 degrees in the Hartford area. 63 degrees over here in New Haven wet over here in Torrington. We are seeing some rain droplets once again on the screen. Temperatures are chilly, raw in the 50s and the 60s, and those wind speeds too are blustery at times. So it's feeling windy and wet out there at times. Wind gusts uh, in the 20s in some spots of our state. Our first alert seven-day forecast showing us improvements on the way for the first full week of fall. Once we get to Tuesday, things are going to get a little bit better. Lows will be in the 40s though, so kind of a chilly, crisp, brisk feel on Wednesday and Thursday morning and then sunny conditions for Thursday and Friday. It will feel very seasonal with temperatures in the low 70s. So we do have uh, a lot of nice weather to look forward to, Wendell. We just got to get through today and tomorrow. We'll